Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of time travel and going back to July 30th in Columbia, Missouri. So if you haven't seen the announcement yet, I am moving to Columbia, Missouri in about a month. And in order to start the journey, we needed to find a place to live. So that is why I went out there in July to buy a house. While I was there, I wanted to go around and see what the plant scene was like. So I'm going to take you through a few of the plant places that I visited while I was in Columbia, and I hope that you enjoy. I should also say that this video was filmed completely on my phone, so the audio and the visual quality is a little bit different than usual, but I hope that you can still enjoy. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca, and today, we're doing a little bit of a nursery tour, nursery hop around my new digs, okay? Okay, the first stop on our little garden tour is actually Shelter Gardens, which is not a nursery, but it is a gardens. Okay, actually there's no one around me, so I think that I can take this off for a second. <laughs> Basically, what the deal is with this, Shelter Gardens, Shelter Insurance, yeah. Shelter is an insurance company, and they have quite a, quite a, a large garden this is just a little part of it, but I'm looking ahead of me and there is a lot of green and grass, which is very common here, I'm realizing. And I figured I would come down and check it out to see like what kind of plants grow here because this is a new zone for me. There's a lot of new possibilities and things that I could have that I have never had before or, uh, I stepped in mud like big time. Good thing there's grass. Uh, that's a new concept for me as well, mud. Anyway, yeah, there's just a lot of new things that I could have in this area that I wouldn't normally have back in Tucson. So it's a lot of learning about all this kind of stuff. So anyway, we're here first at Shelter Gardens and today's gonna be a lot of education, but also a lot of seeing pretty things. So I hope you will enjoy. to be a rose garden. I'm seeing a lot of different kinds of roses, which is fun because I do want to plant roses in my front yard. If you have ever been to the Portland Rose Garden, I went there a couple months ago and I just, actually it was more like a year ago now, <laughs> but I just gained so much inspiration for what a rose garden could look like. I mean, obviously that garden is beautiful and fantastic in so many ways, so I hope that one day I can have something like that. I have to say I really appreciate the labels. However, I would love to know what kind of hydrangea this is. If you guys know in the comments, let me know. If I figured it out, I'll have it on the screen, but this is definitely something that I want. Hydrangeas are everywhere here, and that is absolutely a plant that I want in my home. This is actually extremely helpful for me to walk around and see all of the plants that are growing out here. Just to see like how happy they are and like what kind of environments and I'm taking a lot of photos of specific plants that I find interesting that I can go to the garden center after this and ask them about and see, you know, how expensive they are or what the what the care is on them, um, just kind of stuff like that. So I'm having a good time. And I'm underneath a tree, that's why it's a little bit darker right here. I'm just still so amazed by all of the trees. <laughs> okay, this hibiscus is very, very interesting. I've never seen a hibiscus like this. I see this bumblebee, which is drunk on nectar and very cute. Look at these leaves. I have never seen anything like that. That is absolutely exquisite. And look at how beautiful this is. Can we see? Wow. I don't know if you could even see that because I'm shorter than the plant, but look at this one. My parents are gonna love this. That is gorgeous. I think 
that these are called purple passion plants, if I'm not mistaken. And they are quite beautiful at this size. They feel very funny. The undersides are a bit strange, but yeah, these are beautiful. And then we have some gorgeous caladiums as well. They just kind of line this entire path here. It's so beautiful. Okay, so I'm at the next place, which is the CMSE Giving Gardens. And to be honest with you, I haven't seen a single person here, not even an employee, so I'm a little confused. Like, I very well could be walking into, like, places I'm not supposed to be. I don't even know if this is a public garden center. I'm very confused. Um... <laughs> see lots of like social distancing signs so I imagine they allow outsiders. I was eventually able to find their houseplant selection and to be honest it's not super amazing there wasn't a ton there there was a lot of small basic plants and I'm voiceovering this because it was really loud in there just so we know but yeah there's a few good ones in here but in general as soon as I turn the camera around you'll see how empty it is it was just absolutely empty. I feel like they were sold out of a lot of things. So I was really glad when I moved on to Helmy's Garden Center and I found just the mother load of houseplants. They had so many houseplants on moss poles and just like wood stakes. They were growing up so tall. Look at this philodendron Brazil. Oh, and then look at this Syndapsis Pictus Exotica. I decided as soon as I moved there, I'm buying one of those. And this is a Ficus Audrey. I have never seen one with a shiny leaf like that. I was just so impressed to see all of these beautiful plants. So many quote unquote basic plants that I have never had access to in Tucson. I will have perfect access to here at Helmi's and I'm so excited about it. So many beautiful Peperomia and Pilea Peperomioides and a wonderful selection of spider plants. <laughs> we love spider plants here and check out this huge staghorn fern can you believe how big that is i was absolutely shocked the snake plant selection was super thorough there i even saw a few that i had never seen before and uh, admittedly the cactus selection wasn't as great as it is here in arizona which obviously makes sense so it's nice to know that they have other plants that i definitely don't have like this hoya section i was shocked when i tell you my jaw dropped it dropped this hoya section was huge and they were a little bit expensive but all things considered these are massive pots of hoya they were all extremely healthy and I would definitely never be able to find this at home and they even had a smaller section of you know more affordable smaller plants so I'm just so excited to have this many Hoyas accessible to me oh my gosh I'm so excited just looking at this again wow <laughs> they had a really big selection of not for sale plants so I guess it wasn't a selection but collection of not for sale plants this Adansonii, and look at this Tetrasperma. It had a little fleck of variegation, which is so cool. They were treating this one like a hanging basket plant, so it was kind of just, I don't know, trailing along. And I wonder what it would be like if they let this one trail up and like climb something. I bet it would be absolutely incredible. But what really stole the show was this Adansonii. She said that she had put it on this pole a long time ago and the leaves just got bigger and bigger. This is what Ad and Sonia look like when they climb. I am so inspired. And the best part is there was the most beautiful bloom on the back of it. And there was like two or three of these, which was so cool. So anyway, I left the garden center feeling very encouraged to know that I will have plenty of plants to choose from. It was a little bit hard at the beginning, but there are still more plenty places to explore, but this is all that I had time for when I was visiting. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and joining me as I check out my new home and all the plants that are there. I really am so excited to share this journey with you. So stay tuned for my moving vlog where I show you how I move all of my houseplants. It's definitely going to be an adventure. <laughs>